basically there are two types of training and two types of data sets correspondingly at a very simple level there is what's called continued pre-training with raw data this is where you take say magazine content newsletter articles or books and you feed that in without much uh, pre-processing i mean you'll clean it up but you're not going to change it into q and a pairs and um, this continued pre-training here typically this is difficult to do on top of an existing model because it can tend to undo the instruction type training that a model has so often unless you have a very large amount of data and you're willing to do continued pre-training followed by post-training then it's probably not recommended to try and do the continued pre-training instead what generally is recommended particularly with smaller amounts of data like say up to maybe a hundred thousand uh, words or even a million you do post-training on question and answer type data sets and these are often data sets you synthetically create using documents and using LLMs to create questions and answers from those documents. Now to prepare a synthetic data set, it's recommended to use a large language model. Um, you want to generate not just questions and answers, but ideally questions, evaluation criteria, so what the criteria are for correct answers, and then high quality answers. I have a video that came out recently around how you can prepare data this way. If you further want the answers to involve reasoning or to involve chain of thought, you probably need to augment them further. And I do have a video showing how with these augmented answers, you can get up to very high levels of accuracy with fine tuned models. And that's true whether you're fine tuning open source or using APIs for fine tuning models like OpenAI's API.